welcome back. I just carried a whole bunch of lumber down. I am getting ready to start working on putting together the garden boxes. So yeah, I'm getting the garden beds set up. I'm gonna do four foot by eight foot beds for all of my um, above ground veggies. And then for my below ground veggies, I'm gonna do open field beds, build the dirt up, put the potatoes in. Let me show you guys what we've got done so far on the garden space. So we did, we set all of the uh, posts and we're working on getting the fence up and bracing the corners. We've got this side and that side done. We still need to do that pull strip. We're gonna do some bracing in the corner over here. Still got a side to do. Um, we need to brace this and this side. That's gonna be a 10 foot gate. Um, and then we gotta brace the corner here and this piece here for this gate, which is gonna be a five foot gate. I'm going to do my four garden beds over here with walking path down to this dog kennel. I know, dog kennel. Weird for a garden. Um, I've got a one-year-old, so I thought this would be a nice, fun place for him to play in the dirt where I can lock it up and the cats won't get in because the cats are still going to be able to get in through the holes in the fence. Cats are slippery like that um, so I didn't want the cats doing cat things in the little kid toy space um, so yeah we've got this path coming through I'm gonna go up to that pathway there and then all of this space back over here I was gonna do a couple lines of corn I really hope corn grows in this area and then potatoes and garlic onions carrots all within the ground there
So it's been a couple days since I started doing the the garden beds. Um, I ended up running out of time the first day I started and then I managed to get a little bit more done today. I finished that first box and I just did this one today. I still have two more to go and then I'll be ready to start getting the soil in. Well, I'll be ready to till this area and then get the soil in and then I, we started tilling over here. So we started tilling over here to see how hard it's going to be. And my dad said that it, the ground broke up really, really easy. We ended up getting a lot of rain over the weekend, which is really, really weird for June, the beginning of June in Northern California. It's usually at least 100 degrees already by now. Not this year though. I think this is where I'm gonna call it this weekend on garden work. We did quite a bit. We've got all the bracing up. We still have to do more fence. So next weekend we'll get it fenced the rest of the way. And, and we'll be good to start planting stuff. I want to be able to get out here and get these done hopefully tomorrow. A lot of my vegetables are ready to go in and as weird as that rainstorm was, I think that is the last of the rain for the spring slash summer. I can't imagine there would be any more rain. It, it never rains this late in the year. Oh, and I had to restart, like, most of my vegetables, but, um, but my aunt took all of the other ones I started. I wasn't quite ready to put them in the ground yet, and she was, and they needed put in the ground, so I was happy to give her what I had started, and I started over. So I will show you guys in a couple days what I have going right now on my growing rack. I mean, I restarted everything, so it's all the same stuff, but it's looking really great. Oh, I also started tomatoes and peppers, jalapeno and banana and bell peppers. So yeah, I'm gonna head up, have dinner and finish the rest of my chores for the day. I'll catch you guys next time.